Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Hell Raising Heat of the Summer by Florida Georgia Line. And it starts out, we're going to end up capoing this on the second fret to kind of match the recording, but there's this cool little piano lick where you could play open G, third fret on the B, second on the G string, second on the G again, and then open G, and then second on the, the G, and then open B. So if you wanted to kind of follow that, like kind of that G, D, A, A, G, A, G, B, A, or O, 3, 2, 2, O, 2, O, so if you want to kind of follow that lick. And the chords that would kind of back up that on our intro would start on a G major chord. Let me play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger goes to the low E string on the third fret, and third finger goes to the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. You may also want to think about taking the third finger and going to the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. We play E minor. First finger goes to the A string second fret, second finger on the D string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now you may also want to think about taking the third finger and going to the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor seven. So that might kind of make that change a little bit easier from the kind of G to the E minor chord. And on our intro, it almost sounds like we're just alternating between those chords, although that kind of gets embellished later on. And a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like that, this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the G and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you can kind of use that pattern through that intro, that G. Down, up, up, down, up, E minor, down. something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the G and do a down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going to one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Up. Then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got down. into our verse part and it's almost like that that idea of the G and the E minor gets embellished with some other chords and we can start on the G major but then you could go to a D major chord when we play D major first finger goes the G on the second fret second finger on the high E second fret and third finger on the B string on the third fret and if you strum the D string to the high E string that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really really happy now on that D chord though, you will kind of hear where, where the second fret on the low E string is kind of coming out of that, and that, that's kind of the bass part. And that's an F sharp note, so we, we, could, we could kind of put those together and, and we'll play a D slash F sharp chord, where you do your first finger on the low E string second, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the high E second, and the pinky on the B string on the third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a D slash F sharp or D with an F sharp in the bass. Now you may also want to kind of play around with doing the regular D shape and using your thumb to kind of cover that low E string on the second fret. Or you could use something called D sus slash F sharp where you do your first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the B string third, 
and the pinky on the high E string third. Strum all those together, then that sounds a D sus slash F sharp. So you want to play around with that because I can make that that change from the G to the D sus to the E minor, and you wouldn't have to move the three and four. And then after the E minor, then we start adding in a C major chord. When we play C major, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. That sounds really, really happy. Now you also might want to play around with something called C major 9, where you do the first finger on the D string second, second finger on the A string third, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third fret. If you strum the A string to the high E string, that gives you a clear sound. That's called C major 9. So it's almost like this little embellishment of the intro where you kind of have this G, D slash F sharp, E minor. C major through our verses. Now, look, those chords happen a little bit faster there, so you may want to just use the down, down up if you're doing the down, down up, up, down up. So you have G, down up, B slash F sharp, B e minor, down up, C, down up, G, down up, B, down up, B e minor, down up, C, down up. Or if you're kind of using the 16th, you may want to do just kind of down, down, down up on each other. From there, then we'll be mixing up a lot of those parts through the song. Now, the weird part is instead of starting on a G major chord, Florida George Lyons starting on an A major chord. So, to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on second fret, then now your G major is really an A major chord, your E minor is really an F sharp minor chord, your D major is really an E major chord, and your C major is really an we took it from the very beginning, you may want to kind of kind of follow that piano lick at the very beginning. So that might be kind of a cool way to kind of kick off the tune. Or you could just strum through that and you could have the G with the down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you could use the 16th pattern and have G, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then from there, then we'll be going into our verse part working that with kind of that, that down, down up on each chord. And have G, down up, D, down, down, B minor, down, down up, C, down, down up, G, down, down up, D, down, down up, B minor, down, down up, C, down, down up. Or you can try the 16th pattern and have G, down, down up, D, down, down up, B minor, down, down up, C, down, down up, D, into our chorus. If we try our chorus with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have G, down, up, C, down, up, D minor, down, up, B, down, up, G, down, up, C, down, up, D minor, down, up, D, down, up, G, down, up, B, down, up, D minor, down, up, C, down, up, G, down, up, B, slash, up, short, D minor, C. Or if we tried that with our we have G. to the song though is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up or the down 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 up up down down up down you throw the bass note for the chord so on the G you'd have the low E string for your bass on the C you'd have the A for the bass on the D you'd have the D for the bass unless it's the D slash F sharp in which case you'd do a low E for the bass and then on the E minor you'd have the low E string for the bass so we tried our first with the bass down up up down up we'd have G with the bass down D slash F sharp low E bass Bass. 
or if we try that with our sixteenths, you can make it kind of a bass down, down, a bass. Try our chorus with a bass down up, up, down up. We have G with a bass, down up, C with an A bass, down up, D minor with a B bass, D with an E bass, G with a B bass, C with an A bass, D minor with a B bass, D with an E bass, G with a B bass, D slash F sharp, D minor, C, G, D with a B bass, D minor with a B bass, C with an A bass. Or we try that with our sixteenth. We have G with a B bass. We have G, G slash F sharp, D minor, C, G, G slash F sharp, D minor, C. And then from there, then we go into a bridge part that kind of follows that same form. Now, if you know other licks around the chords or other strum patterns that would work too, you may want to kind of experiment with kind of mixing them. And then we go into our, our last chorus, and you kind of hear it kind of down strums, kind of to kick it off on that G, C, and the E minor, and then the D, and then we kind of pick it up on that G. our intro, but you may want to kind of follow the, that those verse changes, kind of that G slash F sharp. But that's the basics of how you can strum through Hell Raising Heat of the Summer by Florida Georgia Line. So good luck! <laughs>